Well, both Elon Musk and Bill Gates are well known for being able to maximize every minute of the day. Yep, and you know what their secret is? It's something, it's a psychological trick. It's called time blocking. What is it, you say, and how can you use it to help improve your productivity? Well, our happiness expert, UW-Madison professor Christine Whelan is back with us for a rare Friday appearance. Nice to see you, Christine. Hey, happy Friday. Happy, happy Friday. Friday. So what are we talking about Your Time blocking, what is it? Okay, so <laughs> they're productivity experts that use this concept of time boxing, and they use it to get more done in every day. But I'm the happiness expert, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. So what I want to talk about is how to use this concept to actually get more fun in your life, to get more joy in your life. So right now we're in the summertime, right? And in a week's worth of vacation, we try to cram in a year's worth of fun and relaxation, right? right. And that stresses me out. I don't know about you. Well, especially in Wisconsin, because you feel like, oh, there's only this much time where the yes. weather is nice. It's, and we have to take advantage of every yeah. minute of it. Exactly. Right. Okay. So what we did last week um, on the 4th of July break was we took a couple hours and we put two psychological principles into play. The first is that, in fact, when you have a larger number of small rewards and good things in your life, it actually tends to make you happier than just saving it all up for, like, one big good thing. Mm. So that's one. And then two is, did you, of course, hear that phrase, anticipation is nine-tenths of delight? Mm -hmm. We actually really like looking forward to things, right? right? So if we have a vacation week, Taking a little bit of that time and maybe planning some fun things for the rest of the year and putting it in our calendar actually can be a way to keep that vacation vibe going. How about productivity? Yeah, so here's the thing. Here's the thing. What we do, when we put something in our calendar, we say that we value it and that we're going to make time for it. Now, we do that for a lot of work stuff, right? Oh, but yeah. how about doing it for some stuff for ourselves? So we first think about what do we value. So for me, in terms of spending time, is I want to do a one-on-one -on -one trip with each of my kids every year. A little mommy and me adventure, right? Well, you've got to plan that a long time in advance. So I look at my calendar and I make time for that. But we can extend that as well. So you can use that idea of time boxing, thinking about a chunk of time and how you want to put it in your calendar, not just for productivity, but for fun things, things that you value. So that's the that's the premise of what time, what is it called? Time spotting, time, time blocking, right. so time boxing. A, so in a work context, the premise is, you know, there's all the urgent things that come in, all the emails and all the phone calls, right? But what we want to do is prioritize the important things that advance our career. So that's the thing you do in a work context. But think about it in, in a happiness context. There's all the things that you've got to do, right? But what are the things that you care most about, that you value? And how do you consciously put those in your calendar to, as one of my colleagues calls it, to calendar happiness in your life. <laughs> calendar <laughs> happiness, we all need that. So planning things are good, it's something to look forward to. Yeah, so you wanna be present in the moment, but planning things ahead is actually a way to anticipate good things coming. Yeah. So you don't always wanna be thinking about the future, but taking a set time to plan in keeping with what matters most to you, in keeping what's purposeful and valuable for you, that's the thing that can maximize your happiness and not just your productivity. Very good. Very interesting. <laughs> and don't worry, the summer won't be over as quickly as we fear. It will not be. <laughs> yeah. It will not be. And, you and then it's beautiful fall. So Indeed. you have something to look forward to. Something to look forward to and put it in the calendar to get out there in the fall, too. There you go. Christine, thanks for being with us today. <laughs> Great to see you. Good to see you. Have a good weekend. You too.